if you know, you know. And if you know, pressure breaks pipes, then you know new media. We got to Lomachenko, his team, and top rank. And we left Lomachenko in the corner where he had to respond to new media and why he's avoiding Devin Haney. Now, Lomachenko came out and stated that he did not request a WBC franchise title. It was Suleiman and the WBC who awarded him the title. So he was disappointed in Suleiman for lying on his behalf because as he stated, he did not request the title. It was given to him. So by them statements alone by Lomachenko, he basically accusing Suleiman for defamation of character because Lomachenko stating, I did not request them title when you claimed I was. He lied on his behalf. If it's true what Lomachenko said, but you got to keep in mind, Suleiman doesn't benefit a bit for lying on Lomachenko's behalf because he's not the promoter. Lomachenko is not his fighter. So why would he lie is the million dollar question. Now, quoting what Lomachenko said, he said that we filed a request to be awarded the franchise champion title. I would like to make it clear that I did not file anything and no one asked for it. I did not ask to be awarded with this title and we did not write any letters. So to be honest, when I read the interview, I was very surprised. The president Suleiman and the whole WBC made the decision independently. They decided that I deserve it and said that they would like to grant it to me. Thank you, of course. Thank you for the recognition. But when it turned out that the article said it very different, that I had asked for it, which is false. And who is Haney? Whom he defeated? How he gained the title? How? He got that belt simply because I vacated it and it was granted to him. End quote. And Lomachenko is playing victim, acting like he's just going to accept the title, like he didn't know he was going to get stripped of the regular WBC title and that Devin Haney wasn't going to get awarded that title. He knew Devin Haney was his mandatory. That's who Devin Haney is. Just like Corolla, when you fought Corolla, Devin Haney is your mandatory. And because you won a vacant belt, you're supposed to defend it against two of your mandatories. So since you wanted to stay active till the Lopez versus Comey winner, you could have fought Devin Haney instead of getting that French fries title. Matter of fact, you could have got that and you could have kept your WBC title by fighting Devin Haney. However, you chose to do otherwise. Now you're playing victim, accusing Suleiman of lying on your behalf. Now, my problem with Lomachenko is that he said that he, he willing to fight anybody anywhere after that. However, he said, but it's business. Even though we all know Bob Arum works with the zone. So it ain't like it's impossible to make that fight happen. And keep in mind, when Lomachenko accepted the French fries title, which is an embarrassment for the WBC by this point, you best believe Lomachenko had his lawyers, his team co-sign everything before he agreed to anything. Lomachenko is just not going to agree to something without reviewing it. Top rank know what they're doing. He keeps saying we, 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 we. However, how about if top rank made that decision? Then who to blame? So Lomachenko is playing victim, but I tell you how to make it right. Fight Devin Haney. And that's how you right your wrongs. Don't blame it on the network. Don't blame it on the business. Simply make it happen. You stated you want to stay active till the Lopez versus Comey winner. Well, fight Devin Haney then. And actions speak louder than words. Because Lomachenko obviously playing the victim card. But like I stated time and time again, he knew Devin Haney was his mandatory. He knew what time he was. It was time for him to fight his mandatory because he just won a vacant belt. And according to the WBC rules, you have to fight your mandatory if you win a vacant belt. And that's why he got stripped of that belt and chose to become the French fries title champion that now he don't want to claim anymore. 
because of all the backlash and because of new media. And nobody forced Vasil Lomachenko to agree to this French Fries title. Nobody put a gun on his head and told him, sign and agree to this. He did by himself, willingly. Deontay Wilder did it. Bereviev is against it. Crawford is against it. Inouye is against it. All these great fighters turned down the French Fries title because they know it's not a real title. Because you could win it, but you can't lose it. However, only two fighters accepted it. Two fighters from the hopeless, and that's Lomachenko and Canelo Alvarez. To avoid two fighters from the coincidentalist, and that's Devin Haney and your boy Charlo. Y'all got to keep in mind, guys, at the same time, if Lomachenko is sincere and he wants all the smoke, then why did he turn down a Salido rematch? Claiming that he's past that. Salido loss doesn't matter to him anymore. Even though that's the only guy that beat him as a pro. Meanwhile, he beat that one guy that beat him in the amateurs four times. He had to go see him four times to avenge that loss. Meanwhile, Salido, he didn't want no part of that Mexican school. Then a Manny Pacquiao fight was on the horizon. Manny Pacquiao was willing to go down to 135 to fight him. He said Manny Pacquiao was too old. Then Manny Pacquiao turned around and beat a Keith Thurman at 147, a division Lomachenko will never dare climb up to, even though Manny Pacquiao started at a lower weight class than Lomachenko, and now he fighting at a higher weight class than Lomachenko. Lomachenko claims he wants to be as great as a Manny Pacquiao, though he turned down a fight with a 40 version of Manny Pacquiao. Ain't that ironic? Then he turned around and duck a green version of Devin Haney. Keep in mind, he claims Floyd Money Mayweather is his dream match, which now he might want to change it to his nightmare match, not his dream match. So avoiding Devin Haney and now saying that the WBC and Suleiman lied on his behalf, that's one thing. Proving it is another. Because you can still fight Devin Haney. It ain't too late. However, if Lomachenko chooses to hide behind his promoter, then fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, F the peace on, load the chopper and let it rain on you. That being said, I know I ain't a fool. But the better question is, and the million dollar question is, are you? And we all know. Only fools get fooled again. And if you know, you know. So drop your comments below on what y'all think of Lomachenko comments, him playing the victim card, claiming Suleiman lied on his behalf. And subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these casual fans. Shout out to Dante for giving me the opportunity to post on his platform, for believing in your boy, for seeing something in your boy. And best believe he ain't mistaken. Shout out to DBN, shout out to New Media, Shout out to Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. I will leave his link for his Instagram on the description box below. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time you post to go live and to be continued on the next episode of IK TV. Peace and we out here.